As a designer, you spend your whole life breaking your babies. Prototyping is part of the process and you have to get used to it. But of course, this is something we've put a lot of love into and this is the way you learn, you have to do this. When Ballantines um, came to us with the concept of a space class, you know, right off the bat we had a hunch about what it could be. And, but being designers, of course, you don't trust your first judgement, you have to go through the process. We designed about 20 different ways into solving this problem, like how can you design for connoisseurship and um, you know, a true Earth-like drinking experience in, a, in an environment where there's very little gravity. We wanted to make sure that there'd be no um, effect on flavour, um, hence medical grade plastics, but also gold, which is extremely unreactive. The space glass is 3D printed, which is the technology of the future. It's, you know, the, the way we're going to make things in space. There is a 3D printer uh, on the International Space Station. You could print the space class now and, and it would solve um, a problem they have, which is, you know, how to drink. It's, it's something which um, at the moment um, needs to be resolved. And I love the idea of uh, astronauts using the space glass straight away. put them together in different proportions, really in the Valentine style. But for this end, we made it considerably more concentrated. You, you'd explained to me that flavours are very much suppressed in space, so I added some first fill sherry matured malt to the blend, just enough to give it a little bit of spice and add an extra dimension to the space blend. When you take gravity away, um, everything changes. We sort of know in principle that it would work with water. Water is polar, it has these things called van der Waals interactions. It is a sticky, sort of jelly-like substance in zero, zero G. Um, but whiskey, we just don't know. Whiskey doesn't have the same level of polarity. Our hope is we can conduct a test which uses Sandy's um, space blend, and then we'll really know whether it works inside the glass. SARM is the Center of Applied Space Technology and Microgravity, interested in space research and space technology. The DOP Tower is the most outstanding facility of, of SARM. It's a laboratory for short-term experiments under microgravity conditions, so conditions under whitenessness. We have here a vacuum steel tube, which is 120 meters high. We have a free-falling capsule inside this, and no air drag acts on this capsule, so we are able to achieve this high quality of microgravity. The secret of good design is prototyping, and this is you know, just prototyping on a really huge level. We're um, you know, taking our alpha and, um, and exposing it to you know, actual microgravity conditions, so you know, it's hugely exciting to see how it's going to work. We're testing two things today. Um, the base plates, um, which is the best design to hold the, the liquid in place. We have a concave base plate and a convex base plate. And our core supposition is that the liquid, which will be like a jelly in microgravity, will stick to the base plate. We want to figure out which is the best plate for, uh, for that sort of sticking process uh, and hopefully uh, that will then uh, connect to the entry point to the helix uh, which then of course allows the liquid to go into the mouth of the, of the space traveller. Our hypothesis is that it's going to be the, um, the convex um, base plate but we really need to figure out if it is true and, um, and the only way to do that is to, is to drop it. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, it went amazingly well. Uh, the whiskey you know, stuck to the base plate, as we imagined, but it was extraordinary just to see it climb up the channel um, to the mouthpiece, and uh, so it worked so much better than we thought. The way that Ballantines are interested in exploring this concept was the, the future, really, where humanity is going. You know, there's a whole category of people who are now called astropreneurs who are doing this. They're creating businesses and services for space. The space glass is a symbol of this new frontier.